Hello, and welcome to another episode of Forming the Russian Empire. And I think in this episode, we are going to form the Russian Empire. We have one county left, and we will easily get that. And so we're going to do that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's form the Russian Empire. Don't worry, the series will continue after this. We're probably going to try to conquer modern borders of Russia or somewhat realistic modern borders. I don't think I'm gonna conquer anything because eventually I'll get close to the Mongols and they'll booty slap me. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's do it. Also look out for an Imperial Rome video coming out soon. We're gonna start a series with that. Okay, let's declare war on this guy. And if we kill this guy right here, we will in fact, um, have the correct borders but first we're gonna get some troops up we have only seven thousand a lot of our troops are gone um it looks like we have an, a vassal imprisoned um you can inherit first in line who's this what do you have oh yeah we can inherit some of this stuff but i don't think we're going to i think we're gonna leave him alone i don't think i'm gonna assassinate him or anything um let's ransom you and then this person you are not where are you where what's the territory you own we have you imprisoned um what can we do negotiate release demand conversion renounce claims gain weak hook yo that those are all great things so we'll do all that to her very well um revoke title we can do that with a hook Ooh, on decline what will happen rebellion um, I think we'll actually leave her alone. She is pregnant. She doesn't really like me. I probably should revoke title, but I'm not going to. Um, how powerful is this guy? So for the county, 3,000. Okay, yeah, we're gonna raise some troops up. We are looking good. Religion is actually starting to look a little bit better. Um, we remember we did reform in one of the episodes, but it is starting to look a lot better. Are you converting? Yeah, you are converting, but you were six. I will force you into battle at some point so you die just because that's what i like to do um what else is there to do while we wait um i don't think there's much lawfully in prison why cannot is she russian yeah she she's a fornicator though i think i shall leave her alone she has minsk we could revoke her title but i don't think i'm going to i think i'll leave her realm will lose vassal and dead who are you giving it to Ah, oh, this guy. Okay, I think we can declare war. 10,000 should be enough to do them. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away from into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lady, the innkeeper begs. Alexis thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and they're fighting a scurfing staff and guests. I will pay for your drinks. Yeah, I'm a nice, I'm a nice girl, actually. Who is my player here? This, and he's a genius. That So this son is going to be a very good ruler, and we'll probably adopt feudal uh, ways with him. Because how close are we? We're going to have these two done in like nine years, and then we'll work on the other four that are left. Dang, we're doing so good. Um, So go ahead, siege this down. Actually, you guys just have to siege it. And we'll have the troops uh, just nearby. And I don't think... There's any, do they have allies? Who is their allies? So they have one ally so far, but I really don't think they're going to put as much of a threat. Their troops are off there fighting somewhere, but it really doesn't matter. We should just crush them. They're at war with Moldavia. And they're looking pretty bad, to be honest. Um, we could see, since we're still tribal and a lot of the religion is very different from us, so these guys are hostile faith these guys are hostile faith too evil i'm pretty sure that's hostile yeah so we definitely have a lot of people we can do holy wars for we can pretty much do holy wars with everyone because we're almost the only nation with the uh correct religion nice that actually might be a smart thing to do to do more uh religious wars so nice eventually we're gonna have to maybe do a war or two with the byzantines but the byzantines are not looking that powerful there's actually a big chance if we did go to war with them we could take them out the only thing we would have to worry about is their technology advantage advantage on us no i don't want to imprison this prison grant title why do i why would i grant a title to this guy well he is smart 
He has the wrong religion too. Um, I'm not really worrying about the smaller vassals, but you need to actually be converted. So let's go ahead and sway you. We're not swaying anyone at the time being. Who's all the wrong religion? Okay, so we won this war. Enforced demands, disband army. We also just got that piece of territory. So we're gonna wanna give it away to someone. Um, who do we wanna give it to? You looking nice. Um, I could give it away to someone. I'm, I might give it away to you. Actually, no. Let's see if we can find someone Russian. Ooh, she, she would be good to give it if we could, but we cannot give it to her. Um, we're trying to find some of the right religion. Um, this guy I would love to give territory to. My martial, wrong religion, son, husband. I could give something to my husband, but yeah, actually let's grant the title to my husband. Make him have some territory. Make him feel good. He's a genius, and I can't believe he actually made my son a genius too. We're, we got some a lot of negative stats actually. Okay, so we now can form the, um, I think we can form the Russian title. Yeah, Kingdom Empire of Russia. We just need more gold. So we need 500 gold, which we should get no problem. Um, I guess, if anything, let's go ahead and do some raids to get some more gold. We have plenty of uh, people to raid. Um, let's see if these places have been raided recently. Ooh, they have not. So let's go ahead, raid a whole bunch of places here. Um, there's going to be a plenty of places to raid. So let's go ahead, start pillaging some people all over the place. Um, and let's get some moolah. Uh, it's going to take some money away, but I think pillaging is going to be worth it. We'll get more money. Dude, Finland's formed? Nice. They're looking pretty good. Let's look at them. Ooh, Bavaria blew up, which is not very good. The Byzantines are struggling. Bulgaria's, I think, given some problems. So with this yellow nation. So is the Abbasid. They're starting to look a little bit better, but I think since Bulgaria hasn't fallen, which they usually do, they're really looking good. India's actually looking pretty united too. That's pretty unique as well. Um, this is also, the Umayyad's not doing too good, but they usually, they'll do it. West Rankia having land in um, the British Isles is kind of weird. Um, let's see how's raiding doing. We pretty much raided everything already. Okay, let's go ahead, raid some more land. This land is my land. This land is your land. Let's go on raiding to New York City. Uh, this land was made for you and me. Okay, something just popped up right when I got out of here. Um, movement speed, 15%. What is happening? Uh, a sword strikes across my chest plate and elbow slams into my helmet. A soldier easily avoids my clumsy counter. The mock battle rages around me by a struggle to find focus. I'm tempted to let my guard down as soon as the fight lulls, but I know the second soul is about to start. Oh, uh, ooh. I will withdraw for a moment. Yeah, do that, because it looks like you're getting your butt kicked, my lady. And you don't want to get your butt kicked. That would be bad. So, prisoner taken. Yeah, we also get a lot of prisoners from doing um, raids too, which is good for ransoming. You just get a lot of money for um, raiding, so it's pretty nice. Oh, my daughter certainly knows a thing or two about Rumors Court. King thinks it's... For, yeah, how about we make her make her a better uh, steward? Why not? I don't know why we're making my da daughter so good at stuff, but we are. Okay. You guys raided there. Go on and raid some more. Um, What else do we want to raid? Yeah, sure. Go raid over there. Um... Okay, my daughter was married. Ransom. We'll ransom you off. Raiding is just so chaotic when you are so powerful. So, is someone raiding me? Somewhere? Probably. Okay. I think we'll send our troops home in a second here. Because I think we have most of the land raided. That we really need to. Um, 47 gold. 45 gold. 27 gold, 27 gold, 61 gold. Yeah, I think after we capture the, these spots here, 
we'll go ahead and withdraw from the raids. Because I think we pretty much got everything we need to. Um. Oh. No, we already raided that. So we raided here. Go raid that town there. You can go raid there. Upland is our ally, I think. Ooh, except. So we're defending someone. So let's go ahead and... I think it's time now to send all our troops back. You can actually do one more up here. And then we'll send you back. 15 gold. Send you back. What war are we in? We're in... Ooh, we're going to make our ally a lot stronger with the subjugation war. If we can actually get over there and help them. How powerful are you? You seem that you could handle it on your own, but we probably should help. So we're going to send all our raiders back. Holy cow, look at all the stuff we raided. Our monsters. Um, these guys look like they're coming to stop us. So go this way. And... You have 85 gold, yeah, you can just come back at this point. You'll be able to form the empire. Um, so you need to start running. So go ahead and start running. Looks like we got into a battle there. Looks like we might get into a couple battles with up there. Um, has been hovering over my council meetings knowing his interest in the matters of leisure. I cannot help but feel the man is waiting for me to impress him. Let's discuss communication methods. Okay, so all these guys are back, so your loot's done. Um, let's change rally point over here so we can go help him. Um, when did this happen? I don't remember having this territory over here. I don't think we did for forever. Um, so we got territory over here somehow. See, my vassals are going to start expanding too. That's something that always trips me up is the vassals expanding on their own because they're so powerful. Okay, so, um, Nina has actively supporting and is independent. However, my husband has a plan to change that. Trust me, I think I can tell. Uh, make sure, never supports. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Get, stop the independence faction. 94 gold. Nice. Um, Raider's gonna come back with more. I think let's go ahead and, uh, Empire grants title. We are now the Russian Empire. Nice. And then we're gonna uh, also go for this kingdom for 250 gold. So we now are Russia. Okay, we are the Russian Empire. So we just got the achievement Land of Rus, which is, uh, the starting nation that's recommended forming the Russian Empire, which is good. So technically, a video could be over, roll the credits, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go further past that. Um, we're going to go for more modern borders. We're going to become much more powerful. No reason to stop here. Especially because we haven't even adopted feudal ways. We're not even to the year 1000, so there's definitely a long way to go still. Um, let's raise armies. Let's go help our friend out. Um... I think I'm going to send all my troops over to help. So yeah. Let's go over and help. Hit and run. Now let's do the cavalry. Okay. So we have formed the Russian Empire. We're looking good. I think some of our claims are better for us to declare war. Let's do the king of Ruthenia as well. Duchies don't need them. Um, prisoners ransom. Yeah, go ahead and ransom these prisoners. Our succession line looks fine. That's good too. I gotta keep checking on that in case my ruler dies at some point. Um, and my player here is going to be a boss. Who is? I need to educate him, I think. Or is someone already educating him. Oh no, no one is. I think he was trying to be a steward, right? So. We need someone good in stewardship. And we don't really have anyone good in stewardship. Dang, everyone's really stupid. Okay, I guess I'm going to um be your guardian and educate you. Except what do I have to help here? Slovenian Orthodox Uprising. Bohemia, I hope you can deal with that yourself. I'm kinda helping some other guy right now. 
So actually, maybe we'll send 1,000 over there to help you. Maybe get some work done. These guys look like they're having a fun time. I don't see these guys really defending. Maybe because their leader is slow, so he's pretty dumb and not going to defend. So, defending for some claim. Okay. So let's fast forward, keep going. Adopting feudal ways. Unite the Slavs. West Slavic culture group. We have one. The region of Slavia. So that's going to be... That's going to take a while. That's something we could actually probably do and try to go for. So we could do Unite the Slavs. That would be kind of cool. You the Empire of Slavia. Um... Tarzan of Rush is destroyed. Aristotle kind of would become... That's, that would be cool. Um, also, what's it called? Dismantling the pa Papacy would be good too. Um, so, we're, we're doing fine. We could find a Holy Order, which I think we're going to do. Okay, I almost always go for blood. And I'm going to be honest. We're doing... We have genius right now. So I think keeping genius would be good. I still think blood's very good. I think Law is also not that bad either. Um, so I, but I think I'm going to go with Blood just because we have good traits already. So we're going to go for Noble Veins. And just getting more traits are good. We have literally one of the most powerful one, which is Genius. Genius is insanely good. It's I would have to argue Genius is probably the best um, Kandrello traits to have. Look at all the wars. 33 wars we can do now. Holy cow. That's insane. Empire of Russia. We are actually close to getting a second empire ready. No cap. So let's go ahead and help these guys out in their war. Are my troops getting close to them? They are. Okay, so let's get over there, help you out. Marshall, just get a new one. Just replace him. Control, it's probably really bad. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad, not gonna lie. So, ooh, we can convert some more faith. What's the territory that we control? Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to see the territory we control. Um, so, Russia, this territory we need to convert. Yes, so convert that territory. 11 years, not too bad. Uh, integrate title. We could integrate Estonia. Um, which I think could be a good idea to the title. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Let's not do that. Okay. So, how is you guys Bohemia's hat? Oh, Bohemia not doing too good. We have some troops going to go help them. Um, you're here. Um, attach to the one guy, and you guys will attach as well. Then you two will go siege some land down to help these guys, and that will be. The good old us helping these our friends um attach the army yes so we'll attach and then these two will go siege um yeah hopefully you guys don't blunder my army okay you didn't you're pretty close to that's fine let's go attach as well dedication of faith yes we are known for our dedication of faith Holy cow, what are you doing, AI? Um, daughter grows up so fast. What did she get? Intricate web weaver. That's pretty good. I think that's three for her. Yeah. Grow up so fast. Good job, daughter. Ransom. I don't think we want to ransom anyone right now. My daughter can get married. Lion's power. Um, no. I think we'll leave her alone to get married right now. Technically, it's not recommended, so I'm not going to. Um, this 2,000 troops should get there eventually. Um, also came to me complaining about Everett bullying him. He has been staying in bed for a void facing other children, so he's lazy. And that is really bad. But we could make you craven for some stress, which is even worse. Or we can make you arbitrary, which is pretty bad too. So we're gonna go ahead and make you lazy. I think genius rules that out and you don't get a lot of stress. So you go ahead, you'll get lazy. 
That's fine. The other options were way worse, so we'll keep you with lazy. The AI is like doing something funky over here. Not quite sure. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to siege a lot of stuff out because um, this is a... Um, I've been hosting your chancellor. Oh, nice. Yeah, this, this is a subjugation war, so we're going to have to siege a lot of this stuff out, I'm pretty sure, to even win this war. So, just keep on sieging. You know, helping our friends. They they help us, we help them, you know. You know how it works. Um, the Vespians are good people. Yes. They are good people. Um, getting a lot of attrition out here which is not too good but you know it is what it is Bohemia you you need some help I'm coming go help them yeah go go help Bohemia out they really need your help my dude so we'll attach to Bohemia I don't know we'll attach and hopefully my troops can help them when their rebellion war. We're kind of just helping our friends right now, which is pretty unique for us. Usually we're like F our friends. Um, my daughter can marry. Go ahead and do that. Bass has been released. Siege is won. Um, okay. Bavaria, you can do this. I believe in you, Bavaria. Um, ill. Send for a physician now. Being ill, not too good. I am drunkard, so that doesn't lower my health. Being no more than was necessary. Excellent work. Reduce disease symptoms. Nice. Feels like you almost never die from ill, but you know, you never can be too careful. I think they're going to win this war soon. Yeah, siege weapons efficiency increased. Very good. Um, we're sieging all this territory down. And we are no longer ill. Nice. Yeah, ill's not too bad. Okay, they won this war. So disband. Can we just... Still standing. This is all my friend's territory now. Dang, we really helped them. We just made a huge empire. Look at all these huge empires over here. These are actually like empire-sized kingdoms. Very interesting. Very indeed. Okay, so can we disband? Can I disband only in a friendly territory? This is a friendly territory. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure this is friendly territory. Okay, go get up here so we can disband you guys. Can... Did, did I disband the ones helping? I did disband... <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry, Prussia. I'm shocked when I caught her trying to steal from the travel chest to the visiting chieftain. He confessed and he thought he would get away with it, but now he knows he was wrong. Honest. Ooh. Don't know how I like about that. Um, deceitful? No. Humble. Humble? What's humble? Ooh. We'll make him humble. Um, honest is not the best one. You can't do a lot of intrigue stuff. Um, because it stresses you out. I don't understand why we can't disband you guys. And something's glitched. But hopefully we'll get to our territory, figure it out. Dude, we got some border gore here for sure. We need to uh, probably kill little D Davia. Um, yeah. So, I wish we could disband our armies. But for some reason, we cannot. And so... We are going to have some problem. Greater Poland. I kind of like Greater Poland. They're looking pretty good. So I think we're going to fix some borders here. Get the entire Russian Empire title. And then we're going to start, I think, going after the Lithuanian Poland, I think. Because I think I want the last holy city. And the last holy city, there's two over here. So we have three. We're going to go for these two. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to start invading the Germanic territories. I want to leave Bulgaria alone. I don't want to mess with Bulgaria. I need them to like stay in the way of the Byzantines. So 
Um, I also need me to help, um, what's it called? Bohemia. Because they're getting absolutely wrecked. And that's my bad. I had to accidentally disband in my armies. I'm sorry, my dude. I'm coming to back down to help. Um, has finished to increase control. Nice. We'll actually have you, um... Why you train commanders? Yeah, make our commanders better. I think that trait's pretty good. Hey, Universe, subscribe to the channel. I didn't know I had the alerts on. Well, at least there's an alert that someone just subscribed to the channel. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna have to turn those off so that doesn't happen again. But thank you, Universe. If you're watching this video, you just got a free shout out. So that's kind of cool. Okay. So these guys are doing good. They're starting to eat people up as well. They're attacking this nation. I think if I had a subjugation war, I think I would go for them. Um, probably. Except for the only problem is religion and culture would be really different. And that could lead to some rebellion problems. Because right now, our religion and culture is pretty Russian and the correct religion. So you really don't have to worry about anything. I think my Bohemia lost. So disband army. Did we disband all our armies? I think we did. We kind of got screwed there. So if we declared war, we could, I think, subjugate them. People have claims for a lot of this land. We could subjugate them, but I think that would cause too much uh, border gore. Actually, no, I don't think it would cause too much border gore. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. Yeah, I'm drunk, so let's go. Where are the casks? Where, where's the booze? I uh, need the alcohol. That wouldn't create too much border gore, but I just think um, it would make a really big mess. Declaring war on these guys, though. That would be a good subjugation war, I think. It would clean up a lot of borders. I think we're not going to do that. I think they're going through a lot of war. Who are they? They must have a strong ally. Who is their strong ally that is going to help them? Lazusta. Who's Lazusta? Who are you? Ah, you're like a German country that fell apart from Bavaria. You're pretty powerful. But I don't think you're going to help Moldavia in time. So we're going to go ahead and declare war for this duchy. And I think we should win no problem. And we're just going to absolutely murder the people sieging them out now. I don't really care if they think that they're better than us. We're going to go to war. In the middle of the celebrations, I am more intrigued by the defensible of this hall. Should an attack be launched from the outside right this moment, the lower nobility would be the ones in immediate danger. Beyond that, a small bastion could be made from the great tables, offering a mocking protection. Now, how would we have staged a counterattack? You can never be too safe. Better safe than sorry for five years. I think this is a little happy and ignorance. You understand martial lifestyle better than that. Very interesting. It's usually not what I would do at a feast is figure out how for us not to die. But, you know, um, what would right does think she could claim my ideas of war for misguided? I hate being martial because every time I go to a feast, I always argue with someone about my lifestyle. As one of the plays replaced by my next, my vassal goes on about rumors at court, and then that was how we sat with the vassal. Are you sure I'm not boring you? No, no. Please go on. Very interesting. Farewell, my vassal, and we lose stress. Feasts are really good for us. The more feasts we go on, the better we feel. So go ahead, siege the capital. Um, let's see if we can actually get a fight in on these guys. Okay, we do. I think we win with both of the stacks on them. Yeah, we win with both of the stacks on them. We'll siege the land down. Their ally will be coming to help, unless they're already in a war. Okay, they're already in a war, so they probably will not be helping in this conflict because they're busy helping someone else. Actually, I think they might actually be at war with... Oh, it's like a Moldavia tyranny war. Interesting. It's a civil conflict that they're dealing with. Well, don't mind me. I'm just coming to steal all your land. Ha ha. Okay. So, go ahead. Siege this territory down. Um, siege equipment. Go there. Um, why is there no... There's no indicator there. Is it glitched? 
There's the indicator. Oh, please. Four stack. See you later, four stack. Um, Chancellor. Assign 12. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know what's going on there. It's like sieging, but it's not. I think there's a glitch going on right now. Because, okay, there it is. I think it wasn't there for a second for some reason. Um, call allies to war. We definitely could call some allies to war. Actually, why not? Let's call... How powerful is Bohemia? Very weak. Salmon, 5,000. You guys, 6,000. Hey, guys. It's time to repay a debt. Come on in. Uh, seems to have been having a difficult time our uh, latest feast he slipped underneath one of the tables and there hid from the people from the entire meal i swear to god if he's shy no 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 no. literally he can have anything else besides shy impatient no that sucks gluttonous that's pretty bad too shy though shy is the worst trait in the game and it's and it's sinful so if it was a chore he will be impatient um high skill scheme vassal opinion opinion of liege monthly prestige and minus learning or gluttonous and my stewardship attraction um we'll make you impatient i uh, shy is literally one of the, the worst things ever N i do not want anyone to be shy at least we'll be able to inv invade kingdom because we have so much proceed we're actually almost at exalted among men nice um how are our i have not been paying attention to our knights our knights are actually Pretty good for us not paying attention to any of them. That's good. Um, Marshall, uh, hit and run, men at arms efficiency, yes. So go ahead, we're gonna siege some land down here. I think sieging up here is going fantastic. I'll have all the territory for the war goal done. I think pretty much have this war won. Um, having 5,000, actually, Dang. Anastasia has been carrying a child of an unknown uh, legion for some time, but I never thought... I never, though my husband could have done anything to do with it. Alas, it's now beyond a doubt that it's the fact that the... Who, who the... Yo, this... My spy master cheated on me? Yo. Bitch. So... I can imprison my husband. Who's that bitch who cheated on me with? I want her executed. I kind of want him executed, not gonna lie. Um, Loki. Loki, you want to execute him for cheating on me. But you know, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think that's a little intense. And when I say little intense, I really want to do it. Just like, take him out. So we have the war goal. We do have all our troops going down to fight the main army. We're actually gonna catch them. Um, okay, we're gonna win that battle, which is good. I think we have no problem. Um, let's go take out these guys down here. That's another place to attack. And then you gotta go siege with the 5,000. We'll go attack the 1,000. Try to cut him off, see what we can do. I'll go here. Not only has there has been a uh, bastard, but he also chosen to legitimize him. Yeah, who is this chick? In prison. On decline. Um, whose opinion leaves? Hmm. Well, you are probably going to be in prison or revoke title. I shall not forget this betrayal. Um, I'm overwhelmed by shrimp. Maybe he be out of my life forever. So I lose a ton of opinion of him. Um, I wish I could look at the opinion the other way around. Um, a strif- yeah, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna go on a- actually, I need to be alone and think about it. Yeah. We're gonna be isolated. Because that actually gives me useful things. And I accidentally got into the wrong battle with the wrong person instead of the thousand. So let's try to go after the thousand that we're trying to go to war with. Um, so we got the fascination, fascination, which is good. So we're going for 
um, barracks instead. Now, so go ahead and siege it down. No one's stopping. I think if we get some of these sieges down, we should be rolling for the win. Where's my siege equipment? We'll leave the siege equipment there and have the 2000 try to go deal. I can't believe my husband cheated on me. Feels so bad. Um, dude, they're so close to incorporating some of these nations with us, but unfortunately, I changed my religion. Oh. This guy we can actually probably sway. Only 30? So how's the swaying guy? Can we convert your religion? Not yet. Okay. Okay, so we have won the war. Demand. Disable. Um, let's get rid of this territory. Oh, we can grant it to my... I was about to grant it to my, um... The person that I dislike, which is my husband. But we're going to give it to this kid instead. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We now have formed the Russian Empire. We're looking pretty thick, to be honest. We're going to keep on expanding. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you in a future video. Thank you. Bye.